Welcome back, guys, to the newly updated August 2022 44th Olympiad at Chennai, India. Welcome, guys. It's your host, Colin Haim, as usual. And we are back with more videos. We love to have everybody here. And we are back in the swing of things at the end of the summer here. This has been an excellent campaign. I've had the, uh, as your host, guys, the most fun and enjoying time. It's been such a wonderful pastime for me to go through these games. Uh, our uh, national teams games uh, in India and tomorrow is the n last round I believe the ninth round uh, that we will play um, and this was uh, from one of the later rounds as well I think this was round seven this is the game that David got a nice win with the white pieces uh, against a titled player so David was the second player uh, in our campaign of our national team guys at ISV to get a win against a FIDE titled player and it is a wonderful achievement and a wonderful accomplishment. So we are going to show David's game now of that performance that he had against um, an opponent from Tanzania, I believe. Um, it may have been Tanzania or Sierra Leone. I believe it was round uh, seven. In this game, guys, um, David played the move D4, and he was just starting to get his stride. It was so nice to see this game and put this game together so that we can understand what he did to get a result in a very promising round for us, okay? Bishop to g7, e3, f5, early f5 in this game. Um, maybe throwing at something at like a Dutch, d4, f5, but it comes a little bit later. Bishop to e2, this is an interesting line. I haven't seen this line too often played, but it's nice to see over the board, especially at the Olympiad. Let's go, guys. David had the white pieces, knight b to d2, short castles, short castles, and I like what he's doing here so far. b6, c3, bishop b7, rook e1, and knight to c6. Bishop to d3 was played. Instead of bishop to d3, I also like h3 um, a lot. Um, but okay. So bishop to d3 it is. Well played. e6, queen to c2. Now going for the battery on the king side. King h8. Uh, David's opponent looking to play it safe here in this game, guys. e4, fe4, knight e4, knight e4, bishop e4. Okay. So nice... Nice logical line in this theoretical opening, guys. This hyper-modern defense. D4, G6. Knight, F3, Bishop, G7. E3, F5. I like it so far played by both players. It's nice and cunning and developing. E4, F4, Knight, E4, Knight, E4, Bishop, E4. Queen, 2, F6. And this is the position so far that we have at move 14. And white's to play in this position. David went for the best move in the position, guys, which is Bishop to G5 now. Creating problems for that queen on f6. Well, are you sure you wanted to play queen f6 in this position, guy? I don't know if it's best. And that's exactly what happens. Now opponent uh, plays uh, queen 2 f7. Goes back and moves backwards one square. Knight 2 e5 now attacking the queen as well as attacking the knight. Best move is just to capture in the position with the knight. And after pawn captures, we have this position. Takes, takes. Or, uh, yeah, it is best to take with the queen. Queen takes and then this comes, and uh, maybe this would be a challenging game to play. Okay, so nobody went for that line in the game, guys. Not taking with the knight. Instead, David's player captured with the bishop on g7. D captures on e5, knight a5, and rook from a to d1. Good dynamic play. I know we're going through these moves kind of quickly, guys, but it's a, it's a very um, curious game, and I really think that white... Uh, outplayed here. Um, yeah, right, guys, obviously not here. Queen takes. Like, we looked over in the previous line, guys, which was kind of exciting. If you take with the queen, well, this is really good for black now. White is in trouble, it appears. So not taking with the c2 queen, guys. Playing the best move in the position, and that's rook captures on e4. Okay, played by David. And this is a wonderful position to have with a dark squared bishop uh, in a closed position. Um, closed because we could still say that, guys, because this d6 pawn has not been passed yet. The c the c5 has not been played. Um, so white with a very powerful e5 pawn and keeping the pressure with the dark squared bishop like we just said a moment ago, knight to b7, rook to f4, and I'm really liking rook to f4 as well. A very creative move going after the queen, and now, of course, this bishop uh, takes care of the rook. Very, very exciting stuff, guys. I really admire this play by David, queen to g7, and bishop to f6. Well, this is kind of... <laughs> funny you have to give up the exchange in this position uh if not it's just bishop uh captures on the next move so play any random move it's just takes takes 
And that'll be GG and good game for white. I have a queen and you don't. You have to give up the exchange. And David, maybe finding the best move in the position. I'm not sure if capturing with a pawn is okay. Is it best to capture with the rook? Oh, rook captures or pawn captures. The engine likes both. David went for rook captures on f6, which I may or may not have played. I probably would have captured with a pawn. Anyways, um, capturing with the rook is just as good. Um, just a matter of, I guess, opinion in this... Um, in the chemistry of this line, right, that we just looked at with rook to f6, well, rook to f6, what if? What about e f6? Now, of course, David can capture here on passant, uh, but that's not really recommended because now the queen, the queen can attack on f6, so of course he would not play that move. I was just showing that just for uh, shoots and giggles. Queen to b5, rook to e7, and c4 played by David. This is really nice now, knight to c5. Somehow it doesn't do that much after queen to c6 and h5. C4 attacking the knight, C4 gets back to D7. Rook captures on E6, now knight captures on E5. And we go through this line now, which is interesting. Rook captures on E7, and black played the move. Knight captures on C6. Well, David played rook captures and king captures. And guys, can we see what happens here after the dust settles? Well, white has a rook on D1 and is ready to capture on D5. And that was exactly what was played in the game by David. So we just went through the line that was played in the game. Let's go through this kind of sneaky line again by David again. I really like it. So black really didn't have too much to do here in this position. You're down in exchange. What to do? You have to get something started with that knight on b7. And you can tell that the player playing with the black pieces in here is, an, is a very experienced player, given by the way he maneuvered his pieces uh, in this middle game. So David is definitely playing well against a very worthy opponent. So it is definitely worth taking a look at. I'm glad you guys joined me here today. At whatever time you decided to view this video, learn the moves, learn what David came up with, and find out how he uh, not only achieved not a loss against a title-rated player, guys, but also defeated a titled player in this round at the Olympiad in Chennai. Very commendable stuff. Nice to reason with. Knight to d7. Okay, rook takes e6. Well, rook takes e6 is best. Um, now this isn't really a threat. Um, you can. It, it looks like maybe it's a threat from, from black, but it's not. You can just take the rook. And after knight takes, like we said, in this endgame, white is up in exchange. David played rook takes d5, knight takes d4, rook d7 check to the black king, king f6, rook captures on c7, a5 played by David's opponent, a4 just stopping this, king to e5 and c5, b5, a b5, a4, and rook to a7. And this will just conclude it after d5 and c6, guys. David's opponent here threw in the towel and resigned with the black pieces. Guys, thank you so much for joining. David, I really had a pleasure going over your game here as much as I have on any, with, with anybody else on the team. And, um, you know, you guys are just doing a fantastic job. I hope you guys get to watch these videos after the Olympiad and appreciate, you know, um, your you know, national operator going through these games and, you know, going over your guys' games because it's special. Uh, and it's uh, been each and every one of these games used for instructional purposes. Your guys' games are being used for instructional purposes for the future in these online tutorials and in online classes for the future. Thank you, David, Michael, Nyon, Justin, and Connor for your guys' efforts. And I know the last round is, I think, coming up tomorrow. Take care. See everyone on the other side and more to come in the future about the last round. And then we'll sum up what happened here in Chennai. ISV Chess, go, go, go. Very pleased with how the tournament went and take care with everyone. See everybody at the other side of the chessboard. Take care, guys. Bye-bye for now.